Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sam. Today I'll be doing some more Fortress Craft, uh, the SMP that I'm a part of. So, in the last episode, it was the introduction with Wes and I, where we didn't really do much, but um, I've got a lot to show off this episode. So, let's get started. First of all, this is our temporary base where we've got all our chests. Um, by the way, how I'm going to do this format is probably I'm going to show stuff off, show off the progress of the entire server as a whole, and then maybe try to get some stuff done. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, honestly, I think it'd be better off just for me showing stuff off. And then when Wes is around, we can try to get stuff done. That, that's, I think, how I'm going to do it. Alright, so, I haven't been playing on here uh, in the past three or four days because I've been pretty busy. But um, today I just got the chance, and this weekend I'll be working on this server for sure. So, let's get around here. Um, first of all, this is our little chest room we got set up. Uh, Wes organized it because Wes is pretty cool like that. He organizes stuff that I don't. I don't usually organize until we get an actual chest room. Uh, we have 12 diamonds, plus uh, diamond sword, diamond pick, and Wes is a diamond sword. So that's 18 diamonds, I think. So what is that? What, what would that be? Let me just count up real quick. Uh, 12, 15, 17, 19. 19 diamonds. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so that's basically all we have in here. We have a little anvil there, which is nice. And we might have the shittiest looking base right now, but that's okay, because it's going to end up looking sick. Alright, so this is what we're building right now. Let me back up so we can get a good view. It's a sort of dwarven um, stronghold type thing, I guess I could call it. Um, that's what I'm trying to go for, at least with this look. Um, it's going to be completely stone brick, which is going to be a pain in the ass, but whatever. I mean, we'll get it done. And if we go down here, as you can see, it goes down into where you have a few cows there. We're going to make a cow farm there. And it's going to go down a bit further until we get to ground level. And then at ground level, we're going to make catacombs under the entire village. That's what I'm planning on doing with this, or what we're planning on doing. Let me just count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I think it's eight by eight. If I made a mistake on that, then I'm going to feel really bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, I did it right. All right, good. I thought I thought it was uneven there for a second. And I was going to shit my pants, but it's not. Uh, these stairs right here, pretty pretty temporary to be honest these are eventually gonna be replaced with something nicer but for now they're wood uh wes's tunnel of love knows axe a lot i don't know why he built this but it's here um i don't know we might do something with this in the future but for now it's just a temp it's just a uh not a temple a tunnel that goes through the mountain so yeah that's pretty nice i guess what else do we have uh if i can just finish eating up this melon oh yeah and then if you come all the way up to the top of this mountain here let's just go up these ladders uh, we have a little monolith type thing. I don't know who built that. I think that was Zach that built that. And then you can come up here. We're going to build a tower up here. There's going to be actually a big dwarven tower. Um, it's probably not going to look as nice as I say it's going to look because, I mean, we're not professional builders or anything. Like, the other people on the server have made damn nice buildings. Like, look at that. That actually looks really professional. Ours is going to look very blocky. So, they, we're here to improve. It's going to look nicer by the end of the season, I promise. It's just for now, it's just going to look a little bit blocky because we're not the best builders. All right. And then you can jump down here into this pool of water like that and this actually looks really nice um for a waterfall looks pretty nice i'm very happy with how that came out good job west i didn't build that all right so um that's pretty much what we've done um it may not seem like a lot but it is because i went caving a lot i did a lot of caving to get those diamonds plus um the iron the stone bricks take a long time to cook so that's what took up most of our time all right so i think chubby built this let me check back here i'm pretty sure uh yeah chubby built this so chubby built a little potato type thing i don't know it's just a little greenhouse. It's pretty nice, actually. I really like this building style. I'm not. I can't do it. I can't do this building style, so I won't be contributing to the medieval type theme. Uh, so that's why I'm making that. So, all right. Uh, it seems like somebody has some dogs around here. I don't know who does. Uh, just a few little advertisements on there. What is this? Um, uh, this is Chubby's building shop. So this is Chubby's as well. Um, again, I think he really likes that style of building, of course, because of the two buildings in that style. And what is this? Uh, built by Chubby's Building Shop. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can... That's what you can do there. Alright, that's pretty sweet. So you can buy... I thought he was selling building material, but I guess you can buy buildings. So you can buy pre-made buildings, I guess. That's pretty cool, Chubby. Uh, Ethan's Spawn House. Alright, so this is Ethan's. Um, again, he goes with the same style as everybody else here. Or, I guess, Chubby. Um, because they are... Medieval style. Now, as you can see, his is a bit more elaborate. Now, this one, they're mostly one story, a little bit of a two-story here. But you can see the distinct difference in style. Like, this one has a bit more cobblestone than those ones. These ones seem a little bit um, fancier, should I say, and this one looks a bit more rugged. I don't know. That's at least what I see. I, I might be completely wrong, and that might not be their visions, but that's what I see. Now, there's just empty plots there for people to move in. 
And what's this over here? Um, I don't know who built this. Let me just look inside real quick. Is there a sign that says who built this? Doesn't look like it. Now, I would guess maybe Nintendo Boy 7 or Zack built this. That's that's a good guess. I remember being there being an outline of a building here. I don't know. Anyways. Alright, this is something else I built. This is the community strip mine. This is still a work in progress. It will be open soon. Um, this is something that I think we need on the server is a community strip mine because it just helps to get materials. Now, um, let me just go over rules here before I actually put the rules on is that um, I want to try to allocate one tunnel to everybody so then everybody can have their own tunnel to tunnel out to. Um, if we go down here, so this links right back into our house. So we have a direct tunnel because I built this. So, of course, it's got to go directly into our house. But um, what I was planning on doing is one person can have this tunnel, one person can have this tunnel, one person can have this tunnel, and then we can have another, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more tunnels in the basement that people can be allocated. So people can have any of these tunnels as well. As you can see, already two people have. Um, the people who have done this, I don't know who did. Uh, maybe just put your names up on top there just to make sure that you've claimed them. So that's cool. Actually, my original plan was to have like a little chest room down here so everybody can have their own little chests just to have a quick drop off. Um, we can still do that one floor up, I guess, in the future. Alright. So that's that. And there might be more on the surface that I missed. Um, we can go check out the nether real quick. I haven't done anything in the nether. Maybe people have. Um, I don't know. Still very early on in the server, just putting that out there because it doesn't seem like there's too much progress so far. Do I have food? I've got one carrot. I'm going to just drop by here get some food real quick I apologize um food we have oh, we have a lot of bread alright good okay so moving right along oh yeah there's a bit more stuff over here let me go check this out somebody built a nice little wheat farm here which is great wheat farms are I am I'm a big fan of wheat in minecraft because it's got multiple uh, different things you can do with it Another wart, that's good. More weed around there. This bridge, I'm a really big fan of this bridge. I don't remember who built this. I think it might have been Bilbo who built that on the first day. But I really like that style. I like that whole like little jungle style. Now there's this random tunnel as well. I don't know who built this either. Um, this must have been whoever built the bridge. So Bilbo, I'll assume. Maybe it was Marcus, because Marcus was on the first day as well. But I remember this being built very shortly after the server launched. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything over here. So there might be a different little spawn point over there, a different little town on that side. So either way, very cool. I like tunnels. Tunnels are cool. Tunnels in Minecraft or underground stuff is cool. That's why I'm making the catacombs. All right. So, there, oh yeah, there's a few more buildings I missed. I don't know how I missed these, but I ended up missing them. So what is this? This is Marcus's stone shop. All right. So let's see what we got here. So 320 or 32 I per stack. Okay, 1D per stack, so 1 diamond, 32 iron per stack, 64 iron per stack, 20 iron per stack, uh, per smooth, wait, smooth stone, 20 iron per smooth, so 20 iron per stack of smooth stone, I'm guessing it's going to be a stack there, alright, and put in payments, alright, alright, so he's selling stone and stuff, I might consult that store because we're going to need a lot of smooth stone. Uh, who built this? This is Zach's future wood shop. He has not worked on this in a long time. It's been in this state for a while. Is there any, anything in the chest? Yeah, random stuff. Yeah, this has been in this state for a while. And more empty plots. Alright, and then there's this last little house here, and then I think I'll end it off. Uh, shorter videos for Fortress Craft. They're not going to be too long because, um, I don't know. Maybe if we do more progress, there'll be more. Um, there's a diamond in there. Uh, I don't know who built this, but it's nice. I like it. I like the style. Now, a lot of you might be saying that this is a bit simplistic. That's why I like it. I think it's simplistic, and I think it works. It's just a nice kind of uh, polygon shape, uh, I guess a hexagon shape. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's that's all we've done. Um, there's this little, little uh, mess over here. I think this is somebody else's just initial house, like ours over here. We're the only ones that are still in our initial house and aren't in like our permanent house, so... Or this seems like it could actually be something that somebody's building right now. I don't know. It's been in that state for a long while, a time as well. All right, so that seems to be the uh, progress on the server. Next episode will be the building episode. So Wes and I will be working on our catacombs and the dwarven fortress. Um, you can expect a lot of stuff between those episodes as we work off camera um, together, actually. So we were in a call earlier uh, working together. All right, let's just hop in here uh, into the nether real quick, just see what we got there. There might be stuff there. Let's just finish it off here. Oh, just got an achievement. All right. And it does not seem like there's anything here. Not yet, at least. All right, well, let's hop back in, not get killed. 
So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Shorter video today, I apologize, but um, maybe I don't apologize. It'd be nice to have shorter videos on the channel since I do range from 15 to 20. So having 5 to 10 minute long videos might not be too bad. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you leave a like and subscribe, that's much appreciated. Let's aim for three likes on this video, as always. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.